Hello everybody, Rat here from Rat Tarot, and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising, a weekly tarot, tarot reading Excuse me for February 4th to February 10th, 2018. Uh, thank you all for joining me and this time around I decided to shoot the weeklies in, uh, in this format. Uh, for numerous reason, really, reasons really, and I believe that from now on I'm going to proceed on shooting the readings in this format, like you are seeing me uh, face to face. So for this, uh, for this series of videos I'm going to use Reader Weight, Tarot Deck, and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, once again I will tell you that uh, this is going to be a, a general Tarot reading, and uh, for that reason, it will resonate in a different level with uh, every single different uh, Aries. But ultimately, uh, you know, you have to kind of align that general reading uh, to your personal situation for maximum accuracy. Now, if you want uh, me to do that for you, well, that is going to be a subject for a personal reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there, basically, you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings, basically. So that being said, uh, cutting the cards and let's see what you got, Aries. Now, the first card that uh, you are going to have, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. And this card shows the topic of your week. The second card that we do have that is going to be the world card. And the world card, it does shows the bad real actions. Uh, I have uh, changed this spread a little bit this time around, guys. Because I did find one that it is kind of like, it's much more enjoyable to read. So, I, and it kind of gives you better guidance here. So the second card is going to be the world card and it is in the situation where this shouldn't be done. It's in, it is in it is in position saying this should not be done. This is not how you uh, face your week. Uh, the second, the third card, excuse me, that is going to be the five of cups. And this is the card showing what should be done throughout the week or what are the things that you should strive for. And the last card for you, Aries, is that is going to be the Emperor, uh, the, not the Emperor, but the uh, King of Pentacles, really. And uh, that shows if you uh, fulfill those conditions, then this is what's going to happen, really. So uh, literally, these are the four main cards here. And the accompanied cards of these four cards, these are to the... Uh, well, I will go along with the accompanied cards uh, as I am revealing the uh, four main cards. So, going to the first card, which is the topic here, this is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. And so what the Ace of Pentacles really tells us for you guys is that you will have the, I, I, I can't say really the extraordinary opportunity, but nonetheless the opportunity one to further one's goal, one's agenda, or in general, you know, one's responsibility. So that is to be a week where you are going to, well, quote, in quote, proceed with your thing, with your things, excuse me, either career or relationship wise. And this procedure that you're going to do will really uh, make an impact. So it, it, it's kind of like it will worth it and uh, it will give results. Important thing with the uh, Ace of Pentacles is that as as long as you or as much as you proceed on forth with uh, with your agenda and with your deeds, career or relationship wise, it doesn't really matter. Here it could be uh, it will be different for uh, each single one of you. One Aries will be focused on their career. The other Aries will be focused on their relationships. Some of you guys are going to be focused on both, but that's not uh, the uh, that's not what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say is that as, as long as you proceed on forth and kind of like really grasping on this uh, opportunity to further your goal, only content, enjoyment and um, kind of like acceleration, it is what awaits you further down the road proceeding, um, proceeding with, it, with this thing. 
it will be slowly developing, all right? So maybe throughout this week, you are going to rather place more of the foundations of this work rather than kind of like making a, a severe breakthrough or rather like, a, you know, something completely turning on the tides here. It is more like consistent and slow development rather than explosive, a... Um, explosive breakthrough and achievement however as i said at the end of your road here whatever foundation you place throughout this week it is only contentment uh exhilaration and joyfulness it is what awaits you so <clears throat> if you follow this opportunity what awaits you really it's a success into your business and kind of like flowing a harmony into your relationship so be on a watch out throughout this week february 4th to february uh, 10th of this extraordinary opportunity which allows you to further your things to further your goals uh, the accompanied card of it uh, i have turned it over here a little bit prematurely this is going to be the uh Knights of Wands, just like that. And basically what the Knights of Wands here does is accompanying the uh, Ace of uh, Pentacles. It kind of points to a condition that uh, you may think that there are, I, I don't want to say really many options available, but more like more than one way how you can approach certain situation and therefore you can get carried away forth uh, with, um, uh, with your imagination, let's say that way, or with your venturous spirit. But really, there is only one right solution and you pretty much will know what that solution is. If you find yourself kind of baffled of what you need to do, well, the advice of the Ace of, with the Eight of Pentacles is to keep the KISS principle. Keep it simple and stupid. That is very, very important. Going to the next card here, which uh, signifies what you should not do, or rather like what are the bad things that you can really uh, execute throughout the week, we do have the world card. So what the world card is really, that is completion. It kind of likes bringing things to their ultimate end. And uh, kind of like finalizing important circle of developments, ending of a journey. But what we said with the Ace of Pentacles really here is, is that your journey is just beginning. You just found uh, this uh, opportunity to further your goal, all right? Uh, just to give you an example of this opportunity, guys, and uh, this is a bit of a contradictory here because uh, um, I have really positive feedback for those examples I'm giving. It makes people, uh, uh, it, it gives to people much more easier themes to work with and to align their situations with what I'm saying, you know. But uh, also there are those who kind of like doesn't have much of a patience and uh, they think that, you know, what I'm, that I am supposed in these general readings, I am supposed to make it personal to them, all right? Uh, which that, that really, as much as I like to, that can all be happen. But I will try to give us yet examples and yet not to connect my reading entirely to those examples. So, furthering one goals and yet not cons uh, not finalizing it in this standpoint is going to mean that, giving you this example, a uh, couple of weeks ago, you, tr you start chatting with a person, you really had that pleasant experience with them, kind of like, a, you know, that you are you are to have a future and so on and so forth and suddenly a week and a half ago this communication stopped for unknown reason here i mean this person didn't came back to you or it's kind of like something else happened you no longer maintain communication and you kind of felt a bit a bit disappointed here that you know oh man so much potential wasted just on a stupid shenanigans and throughout this week again I an opportunity gives you to further your goal so to again to try new with this person start chatting or, or start hanging out dating even etc etc so it's kind of like resurrection it's kind of like resuming and uh, the world here are saying you should close the deal well what you should not do is to close the deal so it's more like you should not aim to be uh, to, to to reach a premature solution to to this um, 
to this development. As we said with the Ace of Pentacles, uh, this situation is going to develop rather very slow. Most likely throughout this week, you are just going to lay down the foundation. You will create for yourself the prerequisites here and there, and etc., etc. But definitely the development is not going to be enough. So you can say, you know, that that is a grand achievement. So from another standpoint here, you should not kind of like expect that something miraculous is to happen to you, yet is going to be very productive week, all right? I don't want to kill anybody's hopes, <clears throat> but the world here rather says that uh, you shouldn't um, aim to make a, um, a, a, as I said, a, a premature um, closure uh, to, your to your things. As well, uh, with the world card, uh, it's you should be very careful what kind of uh, details you are sharing for for yourself with other people, right? I know because they may use it against you, but maybe because they are not ready yet to hear what you have to say. So it's rather like you should approach these situations, either career or relationship-wise, uh, with a bit more caution, uh, caution regarding, you know, of who you are and how you cope in general with uh, with the things it's it's more like being um being uh, being reserved all right and being uh I can't say really in a guarding position but more like a uh, careful uh, a position of, of of carefulness if if that makes uh uh, kind of like uh, if that makes sense, the accompanied card of the world that is going to be uh, the Six of Wands. And this is a, another uh, reason why you should not reach to uh, close the deal. Now, the Six of Wands here says that should you go for it, you can definitely do it. But there is so much unfolded potential that you are not aware of with this card. All right. So uh, basically, it does require a bit of cooking before you actually reach the, culmi the culmination of, uh, of, this, uh, of this undertaking. It's more like, uh, you know, uh, making yourself a steak. Uh, you can eat the steak straight away as a raw meat, or you can have a beef steak, that I mean, or you can have the patience of uh, 40 minutes keeping that steak on um, in, the, in the stove and have a really nice um, fried steak there and uh, enjoy your meal. So it's more like, you know, cooking the situation until the right conditions are um, present it uh, or until you build up the right conditions because this is going to be you building up uh, the right conditions and from there consuming the fruits uh, of your labor. Uh, which from another standpoint here, it does bring the next card, which was the uh, Five of Cups. And as the Five of Cups, this is a little bit of an ominous card that is accompanied with the Two of Wands. But I will come to the Two of Wands in a minute here. So what the Five of Cups really is, guys. Um, you may see in a lot of books, I don't want to say in, in a lot of tarot readers because I do really saw tarot readers interpreting the Five of Cups in a very positive way, but in the most of the books, you're going to see that that is really bad card. It's not really a bad card. Uh, one thing in tarot, there is no bad and good. There is pleasant and unpleasant, right? So it's more like a quite unpleasant card because it does point to uh, some losses, disappointments as well. And in generally where one is rather feeling regretful or despondent regarding the situation. But not in this case, because it's what you have to do. So it's more like toward the positive end. And uh, in that specific standpoint, it kind of uh, urges you not to give up. It does give us a hint that throughout the way, throughout the way of this um, a development of yours, when you seize that opportunity to further your goal and etc. etc., there are going to be problems. And with this card as well, some of the things aren't going to develop exactly the way you have expected. So you need to adapt strategies uh, on go or on fly. You know, you as well need to uh, kind of like. Um, 
rearrange some priorities and uh, also readapt yourself, reassess your positions, reassess yourself either. But the very big thing with the uh, Five of Cups is that these um, unpredicted, uh, rather uh, unpleasant events, I will say it that way, are happening uh, to you and you are facing them in such a way that you are not losing your personal self-respect. So it's kind of like uh, um, you should always be ready to find a additional solution or a different solution and as well not to deviate from the path that you have consciously chosen. All right. And that is very well displayed here with the second card, which is the Two of Cups, uh, the Two of Wands. And what we do have is passive enemies all right and as a passive enemies these cards uh, contradict in such a way that there are so much more options available to you that you are not uh, but you cannot comprehend on them in this very moment i mean you're not thinking and such a perspective and that is completely normal as i said you are laying the foundations and you are yet to discover if you want to say how big potential that goal of yours has <clears throat> so giving to say you are planning to open a personal private business here being i don't know a consultant of some sort and you are imagining for yourself that you will consult sp small companies uh, here and there, you know, neighborhood companies, neighborhood contractors, and etc., etc. And suddenly that, and uh, throughout the way, in a couple of months ago, you don't giving up on this goal of yours, of this dream of yours to have a private business. Suddenly, a big, big company like a consortium or some sort approaches you with a proposition to work for them. You know, so it's kind of like you shouldn't be. What I'm trying to say here is that you should not be biased of that at the very start doesn't meet really your expectations uh it isn't turning out a hundred percent the way you have expected it to turn out and uh, this is why it's called growth this is why it's called development because you perfectionalize yourself and kind of sh shaping yourself along the way and you becoming better and better in it and as better and better you become the more and the more and more opportunities are going to be open for you either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well <clears throat> but ultimately at the end as we said uh, what awaits you here on the on the end of that road it is a either a successful business a, a flawlessly uh, harmonious relationship or maybe even both who knows i mean if your life is down in the shade right now uh, as we're speaking and everything rocks here uh, your career you know your relationship life and as well and there is that means that there is nothing that can happen any worse and the only path for you from now on is upwards all right so you can very well in a couple of months or you know in a year let's say because the ace of pentacles is very slowly developing uh, on an opportunity uh you will have both but you should not, as I said, deviate from the path that you have chosen, nor you should uh, abandon the, your generic goal, you know, your personal dream, if you want to say it uh, that way. So uh, <clears throat> that being said, we are going to the uh, very final card here, uh, and that is going to be the final outcome should you um, follow these... Uh, uh, the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. And the final outcome here, this is going to be the uh, King of Pentacles. And as a King of Pentacles, obviously this is a, a very suitable and very positive card for uh, uh, this kind of lineup here that we do have with Tarot, because the King of Pentacles firstly points a, a very well investing person or a person who did a, a very, very uh, good investments, investments which are going to return back 100 times on the means that one invested. Also, the King of Pentacles, it is a about uh, consolidating upon benefits. So definitely that goal is going to give you benefits and you are to consolidate on them. They are going to be something that you can rely on. You know, they're going to be like a, like, like a my, milestone that no matter what happens afterwards, uh, you can always come back to it and you are going to feel yourself fulfilled. Uh, the King of Pentacles plays a role of a, a person who plays on sound and secure. And just to express myself with an example <clears throat> here, uh, 
let's uh, let's give it that way you know i mean uh, you're working on a very big project into your career uh, you know that once finalized this project is going to bring you uh, much of a dividend a, a bonus probably uh, most likely a promotion and etc etc and yet say another project comes around you know and um, if you will have to like if you have to act like the king of pentacles you should play it on the sound and secure you should completely neg neglect this new project until you do not stabilize on a hundred percent your current one so it's more like uh, at that specific point further into the future when the king of pentacles manifests and it manifests as soon as you uh, fulfill those conditions i told you with the previous couple of cards uh, that means that you will kind of have what to lose which is a good thing i'm not saying that you're going to lose it just on the contrary that you are going to sustain it and that is very very important because one thing is one uh, is a person to achieve something it is completely different thing to sustain it because look in the, look in the history there are many revolutions back in ancient rome uh in carthage and etc etc and it's very easy to raise as an emperor having the blessing of the military having the blessing of the people at the point that you are making the revolution all right but it is completely different thing to be an emperor and to sustain yourself in that place well you are going to have benefits here Aries, and you will be able to sustain it this is what i'm trying to say so it's kind of like something that no one could can a uh, take away from you so if this is about relationship and you end up in a relationship with a person no one will be able to take him away or take her away from you all right if that is a promotion or a business no one will be able to take it away from you and you will be exceptionally good in maintaining it and uh, developing it any any further additionally to that uh, this card could also reflect to a person and uh, this person will see you as a very good investment, all right? Uh, they will see a, a very good investment into your uh, idea. If that is your business, they will see a, a very good investment as well. Love-wise, kind of like they can see you as a, someone that you can be trusted, that you can be relied on, that someone that it is a, in generally a, a very, very secure choice, very sound choice and very productive choice as well. And uh, finally, with the King of Pentacles uh, as as soon as the matters uh, become very difficult uh, you should aim to use some of your connections that you do have with the outer world uh, <clears throat> from friends from families or in general people that can help you with your matters the accompanied card here this is going to be the uh the temperance and the temperance only gives a different shade from a sense that with the big benefits or with the big agenda comes as well big big uh, chores no responsibilities excuse me but chores so you will have to go along as well with things that um, you will have to go and maintain you know i are uh, conditions and things which uh, are going to be pain to maintaining and that you are not going to be very um, exhilarated of doing so but yet they are going to be a, a very very substantial um, a very very substantial part of uh, your success uh, giving you an example here i don't know why i uh, thought about uh, having a, a cinema saloon so you do have a cinema saloon you know and uh, you are making a very good money from the tickets but uh, every time when um, when the show ends this cinema saloon has to be cleaned all right and that cleaning is something you really hate but you gotta prepare it for the next auditory so it's these kind of chores that you will have to as well take care of so your business or your relationship can develop further to its maximum extent so that being said guys this was the uh aries's uh, weekly tarot reading for february 4 to february 10th 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again this was a general reading for aries star sign and for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different level with every single different aries uh if you want uh, a personal reading or your personal situation to be analyzed by me with the tarot cards just like i did for the examples in this video that is a subject of a personal reading once again i am repeating myself sorry about that and to do so you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video or 
uh, and excuse me, and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.